Go for a few days away from our trip to Southend. How's training been leading up to the weekend? Yeah, really good. Um, obviously, we realise it's a big game, you know, just not for the three points that we want to get, but obviously for the, the bragging rights as well, local derby and stuff like that. So, but yeah, the boys are really positive in training today, um, ready to go tomorrow, leading into the game for Saturday. Last week we mentioned that the Easter weekend of fixtures usually gives you a clearer picture on how things will, uh, will go with the season remaining. Four games to go were still mathematically possible to make the playoffs. Is that even in your mind right now? No, I just, I, it hasn't been for a, a few games really. It's just about trying to get some performances from us and some consistency in the way we do things. And, you know, there were really, really pleasing signs against Broadwood. Um, the way we played, the way we got the ball down and moved it as well after competing with all the stuff that they did. And then, yeah, Monday was a little bit of a setback from that. I watched it back off because we didn't play nowhere near as well as we could have done. But a lot of their possession they had, Chesterfield, was in front of us. And then, yeah, it was just a, a frustrating one. They really wanted to back up the good three points we got with a, at least a draw, but if not a win at home. Um, but yeah, look, it's still wide open because of the results that have been going in around the playoff picture. Um, but I just think that shows how competitive it is every single game. But for us to even have a shout of doing it, we need to get back-to-back -back victories, you know, and that has to start, you know, hopefully on Saturday. Just in terms of Monday's performance, how have you gone about showing the boys the information they need to be able to improve under you? I think it's just talking to them and being aware of the different threats that, that teams pose. And look, Chesterfield played very, you know, good football on the day, moved the ball really well and caused us problems because they sort of overloaded us in the midfield area. Um, it's about working on the distances between the units, the more communication, more leading on the pitch, more speaking to each other about things because once the game starts it's really difficult to try and do anything within game to try and help them. You can give them ideas, you can shout from the touchline um, and then speak to them about it at half time. And we sort of did, we nullified it for 10-15 minutes in the second half in terms of mandibles uh, floating into a pocket and Lingy taking him. But we didn't really get going ourselves, um, didn't get going in, you know, passing the ball better and moving it. and. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to put my finger on it, but we do seem quite nervous at home at the moment in terms of making a mistake or giving the ball away. And, uh, you know, always knowing this myself anyway as a player, but when you feel nervous about making mistakes, that actually leads to more rather than just being brave and going, I've got to pass the ball today, I'm going to be get on the ball and move it and play with energy. And I think that's what we need to do more so at home to get people behind us, play with a bit more energy and, and, and show better quality on the football, actually. And the competitive nature is there of the boys, but a little bit more quality on the ball at home, especially. We know uh, we was without Robbo on Monday and Valete hasn't been in the squad over Easter. Do you have any, uh, any updates on them too? Yeah, so they both, they both had scans now. Um, I think Mauro would be very questionable whether he'll be back again this season. Um, I don't think he will be sitting there right now. You know, I could be proved wrong on that because um, we're waiting on the results. Robbo doesn't feel like it's as bad. He went into a real crunching tackle late in the game at Bournemouth and he said to me straight after the game that like, he's felt sank in his knee. Um, so I'm a bit more hopeful on Robbo than I am on Mauro, but um, if we get the results back on the scan that's gone on in there, it might be Robbo as well for the season, which is unfortunate for him, you know, because it was really late in the game against Bournemouth. But um, look, that's just that's part and parcel, unfortunately, of football. You know, you're going to pick up injuries and stuff like that, and um, it's given people opportunities to play in areas. You know, King, you're playing in the midfield area, probably didn't picture him doing that when I first took over the job, but um, he's shown some good attributes in that area. Um, we played a slightly different formation the other day, we were playing Ange in the 10 spot and putting any up top um, and obviously we've got options you know in and around the squad as well you know players that obviously can play in that midfield area as well and fill in and stuff like that so um, I don't think either of them would be available for Saturday if I'm being honest and um, yeah I think Robbo's touch and go over even, even could be available for any of the games after that as well. Our two low needs are Braintree uh... Uh, AJ and Aaron Blair have been doing really well recently and Braintree are sitting in the playoffs uh, in their league. You must be pleased with their development looking on the outside. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's all training with us. Um, I think AJ more for him, he needed to go and get some minutes. He sort of, he played and then he was left out and then he's got back in, which is pleasing to see over the, um, the bank holiday period team too. But um, Aaron certainly got near and played a lot of games now, scoring goals and playing with real confidence. And um, being honest, if they wasn't in the playoff picture, I would have called him back by now. I haven't had him involved with us, but um, I think the stage of the season he's at with them, um, especially if they make the playoffs, it'd be really good for me to watch him in, in playoff games and see how he does as well. So, yeah, selfishly, um, I could call him back, but I think for his development and getting that minutes that he's playing and playing really well and scoring goals and playing with confidence, especially where they are in the league, and I think the right thing to do is leave him where he is right now. 
although I do want to see him play for us as well. So, but look, um, any boys that go out on loan, they need to go and play well and do well for who they're playing for to prove to to whatever club it is that they want to come back and be part of it. And um, I think Aaron's done that, and I think AJ's had a little bit of in and out, but I'm glad to see it was back in the last couple of games over the bank holiday period, and they've got a couple of good um, results as well. Heading into this weekend, you said on Monday, you know what this game means to our supporters. So what message have you laid out to the squad? It's just that, but I think um, I think the the ones within the squad that have been here a length of time, and even not the ones that was here last year, and the feelings they had about going there and winning the game like they did last year, um, it's sort of coming from within. Um, you've got to know how special a game it is, know uh, what it's at stake in terms of getting the three points, but obviously wanting to win against South End. But you've got to try to when you go out on the pitch, take that emotion out of it and try and play with you know that spirit that we would any single game. But obviously, clearly knowing that it means a lot to people and want to try to get their three points after the game. But we can't; um, they can't go out there tense and uptight about that. They've got to go and play and try and um, implement what we want them to do against Southend. But listen, they're a decent team as well. You know, they've, they're, they're in and around us. They're still like us. You know, hoping on a, a playoff place because of the results that have gone to open up for everyone and around them. So. Look, both teams will be trying to win. It's going to matter as much to Southend as it is to us. It's who's going to deal with it on the day the best, who can play um, with a bit of calmness when it is a bit of you know heating around the stadium and stuff like that. But um, something we're looking forward to. It's the games that I would want to be involved in. As far as a player, I want to be involved in as a coach or a manager. You know, Kev Mayer, Darren Curry, and Mark Bentley well, as you said before. What about their squad impresses you most? Um, look, I think, let's be honest, the resilience that they've shown in face of everything that's gone on at the football club this year, I think the way that the, the players have conducted themselves and the staff have conducted themselves across the season is a real credit to them. Um, you know, it'd be easy for, for them to not have played the way they have and done what they've done over the season with all the stuff going on behind the scenes. You know, they didn't get paid for however long it was and I know there's reasons behind that which I can't get involved in, but I just know from a from a staff point of view and a player point of view how hard that must have been for all of them because no players at our level are on enough money that they can't afford to not get paid for a month, two months, you know, they've got mortgages to pay and stuff like that. But um, they've got talented players. Um, I know Sean Hobson obviously from come on loan at Eastleigh um, from Bournemouth, one of his first loans done really well for me and Cav probably played I don't know how many games for me, hundreds of games and was always on the team sheet every week. So I know what he brings is a not only as a player and as a person, you know, he's a special lad and um, I want him to do well, I'm desperate for him to do well, but just not on Saturday for 90 minutes, probably the first time for some not being his manager that I don't want him to have a good day because I've been really, you know, a big supporter of his this last year, but um, I'll be looking for him to be a bit disappointed after the game. But look, they're good people um, and clearly have threats that we've got to stand up against and um, yeah, it's a game that I'm looking forward to. We know that uh, Roots Hall can be a very hostile place to go and play football for any team, but we're probably going to be back by the biggest away following since your return. So how important are they going to be to us on Saturday? I think that's it. It's just uh, it's going to be a big support for them, but it's also for us as well. Um, our fans being there and supporting us, um, and we're going to get the three points. And really, these sort of, sorts of games are the games that you want to be involved in, and they're the ones that you want to play in, in for your fans and try to do well. But it is it's, it's easy to say, but it's taking the emotion out of the game and trying to play. 90 minutes against whoever it will be and trying to make sure we get the victory. We know how much it will mean to people if we do get the victory. Um, but like I'm saying, I'm sure they're saying the same thing in South End. Then. But um, yeah, the, the support, the support's been great, especially the away support. You know, the born well, I could sense how happy they was and, and, and the away crowd that comes with us and supports us is amazing. And it's, it's my job really to try and give them some things to ch uh, cheer about, be happy about. and. Um, you know, we want to do that on Saturday and I, and I do, that's a big thing for me now, trying to get that connection back between the players and, and the supporters. Um, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm sensing it's been lost to, uh, over the spell that I've not been here. That's a big thing for me if we're going to do well moving forward. Um, and a day like Saturday will probably give them the good feelings they want, you know, going into, you know, the, whatever it will be the end of the season in the summer with some good feelings about next season. So. Um, yeah, we'll certainly be looking with the support that we're going to get to try and give them a good day so they can go home really happy with the three points.